in this video we will be finalizing the getx and in this i will be creating getx controller and some observable variables you have learned in the past videos so in this video i'll be showing you how to manage the dependencies and how to manage the variables throughout the app in different pages with the using a one controller so that's why i love the getx so we can use the getx to create a one controller and that controller can be used on different screens and same variable can be accessed everywhere using just simple lines of code okay so how we can do that so basically you want to first step is as i told you in the last videos is the mvc structure so in the controller you can create a new controller <coughs> let's say test controller and let's change all this variable to the controller in the controller okay we have created all this variable here but we will ch change that into the controller okay so i'm coming here test controller dot, dot. so now uh, also you will see the problem when you have two screens like that let's say you have a two screens right uh, Change this to test tester. Get tester. Okay, so you have second screen and you have to use the same values from the previous uh, the previous page. And if someone changes the value over here, it should change the value on that page too. So for that, you have to have one common ground. So how the co controller works? So if I show you the structure, it's like controller are on the top. Okay. I'll just show you the structure. Sorry, this. this, this. Yep. 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 So, uh, controllers are always on the top. So, basically, controller. All the variables and functions you hold over here. You hold over here. And then you have multiple screens inside it so like you have view one you have view two and you have view three and you can x and all the variables let's say x y and z you can access at entirety basically you can access the like this controller dot x controller dot y and controller dot z so basically this is how you can access same variable throughout the ah, different pages whenever you want so you just have to get the controller so steps are uh, uh, get the controller put the controller so putting the controller is nothing but like setting up the controller and creating and initializing the putting in the controller is equals to initializing the controller basically instead of the controller and the variables and the functions basically and then we use find the controller whenever we need to use the controller we just find it find it if you already if you already put it in the uh, app box it's simple let's take it simple right and finally use the controller we use the controller to get the values and the variables at the call functions okay that's very simple it's very simple and straight so how we can do that this is all the three steps we have to follow and starting with let's create a controller so one step which is zero number which is a create a controller boom boom this is the backboard right so this is it let's start with creating a controller creating a controller you just have to create one dot file and in that you just create a class and name the class as let's say uh press controller over here you can name anything it's not like you have to name the controller it's dumb but you have to name the controller because then and only then you can recognize it as a controller so so, so you can just get a controller so now you have the controller that's it so this is the video thank you and have a nice time no, sorry, I'm just kidding. So basically now you have the controller like in by default in theoretical terms, but you don't have the variables, you don't have the methods, you don't have the functions. So to add that, it's very simple. Copy all this, like, just remove all this. Let's see those errors again, okay? And I'll just add it all. You can see everyone is set it up. 
and this is it so that like we have a variable so yep now you just have to get put the variable so usually what we do we get put the uh, function uh, it depends on your use case if you want to put the function and start the function before the screen even shows on the app you can do that too so you can just go to the parent widget uh, let's see this is opening in the main app let's say let's go to the main so you can just come to this right come to this and you can just enter get the put and you can directly say I need test controller and that's it the test controller is initialized so depending on the use case you can get put the test controller whenever you want so in our use case we don't need that to be initialized very beginning of the app so you can just do it over here right so I think you are getting my points okay remove that way so it was something like that. Yeah, let's write it out, right? Yeah. Get. It's pretty much confused. Huh? Hey. So, let me find it. Sometimes it happens, so you just have to bear with it. So because like there's so many errors, you can just get dot put, and you can just copy over here and paste it over here. You need to add the test controller, so you can just uh, whenever this app uh, page will build, it is put the test controller. So usual practice is go just put that into the main app here somewhere and after that whenever you want to use that you just have to do this which is test controller you create an object and in that object okay I named the test controller very wrong always try to make sure B is capital right so it's test controller go to the main power test controller now it's your time to get find and then we just add it so you can also do this to like get the exact controller it still got the extract controller but you just in case so now this is very good so now what you'd have to do this is the name dot value so you can do test controller dot name dot value no errors at all I can change everything according to the my needs right so you can see I'm changing the variables. How is dot length? I can do this all day. So you just have to put this in the front of each and every problem and all your problems so You can see my errors are coming over here because I not initialized the variable. But that can be solved, right? Just copy this and go to this build and I will everything is solved. So you have created so we have done the first step. Boom boom. Then so put the controller. We have put in the controller. And putting the controller, you can have you will see a few options. Let's say get dot lazy put. So what this lazy put does, it is a very important question and a very big question. So what lazy put does, it doesn't like put the controller right now, it puts the controller whenever you find it. So it saves the memory and something. Like if, if you don't use the controller, it will not put it. So it will automatically this controller so I just do that right so what happens is this will put like directly and this will not put it directly okay so lazy put are used usually like when you want to put it like after whenever someone finds it but it use to save some instance but it slows the experience at the time of the instance but it saves this memory so it's your call whenever you want to use you can do that Similarly, you also have one more option, which is async put. In this, you put the uh, controller asynchronously without like stopping the processor. Okay, it helps you a lot. <coughs> so you will see why we need to put it. Like, what's the call? What's the benefit of putting it? So one important role of benefit of putting it. It sometimes is the case that you have to call some API or get the data added to the variables. So at the time, <coughs> let's say this is the hobbies. I don't have anything in the hobbies. But I want something in the hobbies and I have an API which is get hobbies. Right? 
So I have to call it and I have to call it dynamically beforehand without even opening the screen. So my experience looks fast, okay? So for that, do one thing. Just you write honor. And there's a function which is honor. So that function is called whenever you initialize or put the function, okay, at the first time. So you can now simply uh, call your APIs over here and you are ready to that's it that's the first case so we have done with this we are done with this we are also using this we're also using this so i think this is pretty good so it's a 10 minutes video so i think you hope you have a nice day and this is the getx so it's very simple you can learn the getx in 15 minutes 20 minutes and create a good like quick numbers of projects and that's it thank you